Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls here to give you guys a general update for Aquarius or any cross watchers. There goes Luna. Um, we, <laughs> we're really excited to be here to share some positive messages. As always, I hope that these messages resonate. If they do, please like, share, and subscribe so I know to continue doing these readings for you guys. I um, hope you're doing great. Those of you who have already subscribed to my channel, a big thank you. Those of you who stop by and check out my channel, thank you as well um, for the energetic donation. Spirit, um, what's in the current energy for Aquarius? Um, what's, what are they working on? Hmm. I feel like right now, Aquarius, you're being very quiet, very secretive. And there's a mystery to you about the things that you're doing. Um, but I feel like you're doing this very quietly, very sick, secretly. I also feel like you're doing things that are um, like a risk taker. I feel like you are being more lighthearted, more joyful in this time of your life. Um, and I also feel that you're in a process of transformation. So maybe in a career, you've gotten um, a promotion or something like that where you're transforming, like you're getting more leadership roles, you're taking a risk, you're applying for different jobs, or you're just trying different things. But I also feel like you're doing this a little bit uh, more quietly. It's not like you're out telling everyone what you're trying out um i also feel that you have a lot of hidden thoughts nobody is able to look inside your head unless you invite them to you have the power to decide how much of your thoughts you want to share with others a little mystery helps keep the magic alive so again um aquarius i feel like you're taking risks but you're doing that in a in a quiet way and I mean, this is exciting. I think um, any, any different experience that can help you grow as a person is wonderful. Um, and it, it keeps you from being stagnant, right, Aquarius? All right, Spirit, tell me what's going on in the energy or what's happened. Oh, this card is not supposed to be here. What's happened here in the recent past? Um, I feel like Aquarius, I feel like you were in an environment where you felt um, like you always had to defend yourself or you kept things to yourself, afraid to speak up. You you were kind of, I don't wanna say stuck, but I feel, like, I feel like you couldn't see like all the options that were available to you. Yeah. So, but you've made a call, like you've made a change in your life. You've decided to, to call judgment. I feel like you prayed about um, something to, be revealed to you or for you to have a strength to look for something different. I, again, it could be a job situation or it could be um, you dealing with somebody, but I almost feel like this is in the professional world. Um, Spirit, tell me more about this judgment card. Yeah, we have justice. So uh, Spirit's telling me to take it in upright. I'll read it both ways. So. If you were in an unbalanced situation, being treated unfairly, um, whatever steps you're taking, you're going to be blessed. Um, you're not gonna be so exhausted or drained. And you know that this decision, <coughs> it's helping you to not feel so burdened. I don't know if at your job or the person you were dealing with or the environment where you were at really made you feel drained, like zero energy for for life in general. Um, okay, Spirit, tell me what's in the current energy. What else can you tell me about Aquarius? Yeah, you're not saying much. 
I feel like in, in terms of manifesting your dreams or in even I feel the lovers came out in reverse too. Um, so this could be like if you were dealing with someone that you thought was going to be your forever person or you were in a job where you thought like this is a match. It didn't turn out to be the dream that you thought it would be. Um, but you're keeping quiet in the manifestations of the real thing. I feel like you've learned that working in silence works better um, for you right now. There, um, okay. So Spirit is telling me that whatever relationship or partnership you were in, um, had you in a third party, like um, this person that you were dealing with, Aquarius, was always comparing you to the other people they were also dealing with. So, like, if you weren't nice enough, they would think, oh, but this other person never fights with me, or this person's always happy and Aquarius is moody sometimes, or they, like, I feel like they were always comparing you. And this caused a lot of conflict a lot of drama but it was because you were in put in competition i feel like also if there was partying or going out to parties and things like that that caused a lot of conflict in the situation as well and it i feel like you were in your head a lot. This caused a lot of confusion um, in terms of your potential um, and your potential as a partner and a potential as a worker. Um, there's just, it was conflict. I feel like you couldn't really celebrate this situation. Let's call it situation. Spirit, tell me more. This also made you more defensive. It made you create boundaries or it made you um, it made you set boundaries for yourself. Create them, set them. Um, and I feel like this is what made you take a turn. Like take a turn in terms of your situation. Um, okay, so this is not working with me. I'm actually going to speak up. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm gonna do it because it's it's making me feel like I'm not valued. And you are in your Empress energy, Aquarius. You are looking fabulous. <laughs> I'm also an Aquarius, so I can relate to this. Um, you are into self-love, you are into self-care. You are so loving, so caring. Um, you are in a true power of manifestation um you're an empress i mean goodness you are your own boss i feel like i feel like you're also looking in ways of creating your own financial abundance you're just so beautiful to be honest i mean you've stepped in, into you're tapping into a different power like um and this is because of the heartbreak there was um um an unstable person or unstable situation that really tugged at your heart through emotions through words kind of manipulative in that way i also feel like you were going through financial difficulties because of the situation you were in so if you were like in a job they weren't paying you your worth or if you were with somebody it was almost like they were taking from you not just your energy but financially i feel like it created a lot of blockages there was no passion so again, if it's about work, it, it was almost like you would dread going into work. And if it's about somebody, there was no intimacy here. So you had to close the cycle and get back to the drawing board, like work on yourself. That's what happened. Spirit, what's coming towards Aquarius? And you have, and you will continue to make choices that will make sure may oh goodness you will continue to move forward to calmer waters i feel like you you know the victory that you are you know the victory that you deserve um why do we have this 
But there, I see a return from someone. Um, Spirit, tell me about this. There's somebody, Aquarius in your energy, that um, sees you moving forward. It sees you like you've made a decision to continue moving forward. Um, it's someone that wants to rush in, but they're not, they're stagnant. Um, but they're in their head a lot about not treating you fairly. There is a return. I feel like they're working on themselves right now and letting go of toxic patterns um, and maturity, um, and ma immature way of communicating their emotions. Um, but there is somebody here that, that feels like and knows that they treated you unfairly. They breadcrumbed you. Uh, they gave you very little. And I think that this keeps this person up at night. No, please let me know if this resonates. Yeah. I feel like by you walking away though, you avo avoided a huge tower moment in, in your life as well, Aquarius. Um, now I feel like you know you have options. Now you can choose from whatever, whenever, however. That's kind of how I feel your energy. Um, but this person is definitely stagnant. They're not making a choice to come forward. Spirit, why is this person not coming forward? I feel like they're experiencing some kind of karma or some kind of reset in their life to, yeah, somebody wants to return from an ending. Like they don't want an ending to be final. Um, I just don't, yeah, they don't feel strong enough or they don't feel like they have a strong foundation to offer. But this person's very stubborn very stubborn but this is the truth somebody's gonna come out of the cold um let's do a universal advice for you aquarius see what do we have here for aquarius luna luna's passed out she said she's done with readings she gets energetically exhausted you guys one more all right so we have a time for healing. So I feel like this is where a lot of your silence is coming in through. Don't let your past hold you back. And this is exactly what you're doing. You're moving forward. You're taking your experience and you're moving forward. Okay. A new start is coming. So something super exciting is coming for you. I feel like Aquarius. Um, I'm excited for you. Again, I hope that these messages resonated. If they did, Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be here again soon. Ciao.